Hey guys, Trenner Laz here with J&G Fitness. Here with my daughter Mia. We're about to do a little functional training, some conditioning. Um, we're getting ready for a big game that's coming up. So we need to get her athletically tuned up. So what we're gonna be covering today is uh, band work and functional training. So let me go a little into the band work and why I feel it's extremely essential, uh, almost critical to implement in any athletic training for uh, an athlete. Uh, band work not only improves mobility, it builds strength, it helps to focus your control, it helps recruit your stabilizing muscles, and uh, most importantly, it's fundamental for functional training, right? So the secondary component to that is the actual functional training, which increases overall flexibility, which every athlete needs. It helps reduce risk of injury. We wanna keep our athletes you know, safe and, and injury free. And it increases coordination, balance, and posture. This is something I have implemented in both of my children and her brother and in her as well. Uh, I started with her brother when he was around five. He started flag football when he was six. He then graduated to flag football and from flag football onto high school football. And he's now a collegiate football player, he plays football in college. And this is the very type of training methodology I've imp implemented since day one and it's proven to work. It's evident. He's playing football now in college. Luckily, he's never been injured. Does it have something to do with the training? Uh, big question. In my opinion, I think so. Um, but everyone's different. Some athletes tend to be a little more prone to injury than others but I'm implementing the same type of training with her, and that's why she's at the level of athleticism that she's at now as a soccer player at 11 years of age. Why don't you explain to everyone out there in the YouTube world what all of this has, uh, has uh, done for you and how it's helped you out? Well, it helps me increase my speed, and I mean, I just feel great after having a workout. Even when I'm sick, I just sweat out all my bad feelings, and my dad helps me do that. That's it. So, you know, start them young, folks. For all you parents out there, start them young. And, you know, this type of training that you're about to see her perform, this is across the board. This isn't just for one specific sport. This is for soccer. This is for lacrosse. This is for basketball, baseball, football, everything. You want to keep the athlete free from injury, healthy at all times, and functioning at their peak. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video. If you have a comment, please feel free to share that right below. So enjoy the video, guys. Hip strengthening static holes with resistance band. Wall drills with resistance band. Lateral speed steps with resistance band. Low lateral monster walks with resistance band. Alternate lateral shuffles. Lunges. Shuttle run sprint.
Well, guys, that is it. That's a wrap. I hope you found the video of interest. I hope you learned a thing or two from this type of training. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and I will surely answer any and all questions. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I will be coming out with a ton of more content on training, nutrition, and lifestyle. Trainer Laz, Changey Fitness, baby.